It's your lucky day, folks. Cause today you're getting two for the price of one. We're gonna cover Google DeepMind's RTX model and Microsoft's GPT-4 Vision model. Both of these models are serious steps forwards in the advancement of robotics and artificial intelligence. These are detailed and complex topics, guys, so we've broken them down in simple terms for our benefit as much as yours. But if you wanna go deep, the report link we access to find all the information we've condensed in this video is in the description box below. Some bedtime reading for you, starting with Google DeepMind's RTX models. RTX, or Robotic Transformer Models, were designed to solve a long-standing problem in the world of robotics. Historically, robots were programmed to perform specific tasks, but often got stuck when it came to solving unknown problems or identifying new objects. So Google DeepMind created a solution combining robotics with artificial intelligence. In doing so, they're developing robots that can understand and perform tasks by looking at a picture and reading the task description. This is something that previous robotics struggled with. To better understand RT models, imagine you had a robot in your house and you wanted it to find your blue mug and then fill it with coffee. With the current generation of robots, you'd have to pre-program it with specific instructions. But now with the latest tech deep mind is developing, You'd simply show the robot a picture of your blue mug, tell it to fill it with coffee, and it would understand what to do. DeepMind had previously said there's a lack of large-scale and diverse robotic data, which limits the ability of a robotic model to perform in different situations. So their RT1 model was trained with large-scale data, using demonstration data collected using 13 robots over a period of 17 months. Statistically, it was based on a database of 130,000 demonstrations, resulting in a 97% success rate across more than 700 tasks. And their RT2 model is being called a Vision Language Action AI model, or VLA model. A unique aspect of RT2 is that it's able to directly output robotic actions, which means it can translate the knowledge it's learned from web data into proper informed robotic behavior. The RT2 model is like a robot brain that's been trained on lots of text and images from the internet. And because of that, its brain can independently understand instructions and will take the relevant appropriate action. If you're connecting the dots, you'll understand why this is such a big deal. Essentially, this new wave of robotics will now be able to perform actions that they weren't specifically tasked for. They'll be able to understand human language, which will open up new possibilities in terms of communication. And OpenAI is releasing some really interesting stuff too. They recently released DAL E3 already considered one of the best AI image models available. And they've also announced that ChatGPT can now hear, speak, and see, which is a massive step towards multi-sensory models, or LMMs. So you can now use your voice to hold a conversation with GPT, just like you do with Siri or Alexa. But we're gonna focus on GPT Vision, introducing visual capabilities into ChatGPT. Microsoft recently released a report called The Dawn of LMMs, preliminary explorations with GPT-4 vision. This paper gives an in-depth analysis of GPT-4V, and they've included some of the results performed by vision. This is basically an extension of the GPT-4 model. It has the ability to understand and analyze images, as well as text and images, thanks to the latest DAL E3 model updates. This means that version 4 can now take an input image and provide information about that image. Vision can identify an object in an image, transcribe text from an image, translate image text into another language, and identify image location. To gain access to GPT-4, you'll need a subscription. Once you're in, if you hover over the GPT bar on top, you'll find five different options. The default option is set to uploading an image. Next, browse with Bing. Then there's advanced data analysis, plugins, and Dolly 3, which are all new additions to the system. But to use GPT Vision, you've got to select the default mode. Test it out by uploading an image and asking it for a description. The response you'll get is pretty detailed. Interestingly, if you upload an image of someone's face, the response you'll get is that it's not programmed to identify real people whether they're famous or not. This is also the case with the latest model of DALL-E, which shows that OpenAI is now placing a far greater emphasis on security and safety, given the rise in deep fakes and AI scamming. However, if you upload a picture of someone and ask GPT to describe what it sees, it'll respond by describing the expression, facial structure, posture, attire, and other details, which is a pretty cool feature. OpenAI has also addressed another major concern, that any images used will not be stored 
and that every image provided will be processed and then discarded immediately. Looking at some of the use cases mentioned in their report, OpenAI demonstrate that GPT-4V can now work with multi-image and image text inputs. For example, they've highlighted receipts along with a prompt saying, how much did I pay for tax? And in return, GPT-4V provided the information on how much tax was paid on each receipt and even pointed out where it's written on the receipt. In a flash, that's your tax return sorted. Next to that, another interesting use case, where they show a photo of a menu and ask how much should I pay for the beer on the table. Vision recognized that there were two bottles on the table and that the total cost should be $12. No more arguing over splitting the bill. Another cool example is shown in section 3.1 of the report, where they uploaded an image of someone's driver's license and asked GPT-4 to recognize the text and then fill out the data in a specific format, which it successfully did. This will certainly be of interest to corporate entities, dramatically reducing administrative tasks. And the visual referencing prompt is crazy. As we're showing you, the picture is of a beach scene, and the prompt is asking Vision to describe what's in the yellow circle. The response is not only correct, but it's incredibly accurate and detailed. Then there's landmark recognition, as shown in this section. Vision has successfully recognized a number of locations and provided a detailed response for each one. Vision can even manage food recognition, providing the name of the dish, what it contains, and what region it's from. And it doesn't stop there. Medical image understanding is a particularly interesting use case for GPT Vision, providing Vision with an X-ray image and simply asking what's wrong. It was able to identify a fracture to the fifth metatarsal. A pre-diagnostic like this could save the health sector a significant amount of time and money, but one of the most interesting features of Vision has to be its multilingual, multimodal understanding. Using various input images, Vision was able to identify locations and text languages within images. It could even identify handwritten graffiti on a wall. Simply mind-blowing technology. 